We're on a KTM adventure tour in uh, Crimea, which is in uh, South Ukraine. In my country, we're not allowed to ride in terrain, so this is a great vacation where we get to ride anywhere we want. I think Crimea is one of the best area to ride enduro because we have everything here. Forest, mountains, uphills, downhills. Sometimes we have sun, sometimes a little bit of rain, which makes things muddy and slippery and interesting. There are a lot of rocks, a lot of stones. There's huge hills to climb. There's uh, sandy, fast tracks through the forest. Uh, we've gone up to monuments overlooking the Black Sea, and we've ridden down to the beach. These tours are made for every level of riders, beginners and hardcore riders, because we are divided in groups. So anybody who has interest towards motor bikes and off-road, you know, welcome aboard. The last bike I had was a road bike. Uh, but I haven't ridden off-road in over 20 years, so that was the hard part for me. Uh, a lot of information was thrown at me from the very beginning. Uh, it was like drinking water out of a fire hydrant. Uh, but there has been some really good instructors on this trip, and they gave me some really good pointers that eventually sunk in. So every day that I've ridden, I feel like I've gotten a little bit better and a little bit more comfortable on the bike. Tour guides are professional riders, enduro riders, who uh, uh, treat the customers very well. You know, I've dropped my bike several times on a steep incline and the guide will get off his bike and come and pick mine up and get me out of trouble. Tour guides speak very little English, but uh, that hasn't been a problem because they speak enduro and they speak specifically good, hard enduro. And that's basically, they just show you how much clutch do you use brake at all, full gas or little gas, and where you put your weight on the bike. You just follow these instructions. You don't need English, Ukraine, you don't need any language. Only this hard enduro language. Whoa. I'd say the best moments for me were the hill climbs to try and get up a hill and maybe do uh, one try and not make it and then get some advice and then try again and uh, maybe still not make it and get a bit more advice from the tour guides and then make it. So I have probably dropped the bike a thousand times and uh, tried to get up these uh, crazy hills and it's been very satisfying the times that I've got up. Sometimes it only takes one try, sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes 10. And if, even after that, I won't make it, but when I get up the hill, those are definitely the best moments that this tour offers.